people without plants are in a state of potential neurosis, a state of existential wanting, a sense of abandonment that followed with the breaking off of these symbiotic relations with vision-producing plants. I think what evolutionary biologists have missed in looking at the emergence of human beings out of the primate phylogeny is, generally speaking, the mutagenic influence of food. The fact that a fruit-eating arboreal primate, because of a situation of spreading dryness in the environment, evolved into a pack-hunting creature of the grasslands with an omnivorous diet. What this says to me is that there was a unique confluence of factors present in the evolutionary situation that were capable of kindling this ontological transformation of what had previously been the animal mind. And what I suggest this factor is, or was, psychoactive plants in the environment, specifically psychoactive plants in the grasslands environment in which human pastoralism evolved in Africa over a million years ago. The plant must be African. It must be extraordinarily noticeable in the environment. The only plant which fits this description is a mushroom of the psilocybin containing variety. Low doses of psilocybin give increased visual acuity. Medium range doses of psilocybin give an increased interest in erotic activity. Slightly higher doses of psilocybin uh, give an experience of the numinosum, an actual contact with a mystery in the human psyche which is no less mysterious to us today than it was to our ancestors when the last glaciation was retreating against Canada. <laughs> but in a strange way that is a law repeated over and over again through history, each advance somehow outsmarts itself. And the wonderful linguistic depth which women attained as gatherers through the production of folk taxonomy eventually led them to a terrible discovery, the discovery of agriculture. Rather than maintain this vast library of shifting information about seasonal plants, they could in fact focus on a very small number of plants learn their needs alone and at that point the retreat was on. These things were called consciousness expanding drugs. Think about our dilemma on this planet. If the expansion of consciousness does not loom large in the human future, what kind of future is it going to be?